Welcome back to the embrace of Maygrig village. But before we dive into the festivities, let me share a secret with you. A tradition that has sailed through generations and embodies a symbol of Christmas in this country. This is the Karavaki, a symbolic boat decorating Greek homes during Christmas. Originating from the Aegean Islands, it represents the journey of St. Nicholas and families are meant to light it on Christmas Eve, guiding him to their homes. While the Karavaki was once a centerpiece, slowly the boat found itself gently replaced by the familiar figure of Santa Claus, and the evergreen Christmas tree took center stage. Yet in our Greek traditions, Santa wears the face of Saint Basil, and his arrival heralds not Christmas, but the dawning of the new year. There are many culinary dishes that are prepared around the Christmas holidays. This being the season of chestnuts and persimmons, one can find a festive array of dishes that celebrate the bounty of winter. And the more Christmas approaches, the more our kitchens come alive with the rich aromas of the holidays. Forget the standard Christmas cookies. Here, we indulge in curabiedes. Small, dry almond cookies adorn the dusting of snowy sugar. Following closely are lipless, a concoction of honey and puff pastry with their delicate and crispy layers. And finally, we have melomacarona, where each bite is a symphony of honey, cinnamon, orange and nuts. It is also the favorite treat of a small and very mischievous creature. For the 12 days of Christmas, starting the 25th of December and ending on the 6th of January, legend has it that the Kalikadzari are loose on the earth, spreading mischief and malice on the unfortunate mortals that fall on their path. Every child knows the story. The Kalikadzari, tiny little demon creatures resembling goblins, dwell in the underworld, sowing the huge tree of life that holds our world together. Their aim is to cut it down and bring havoc on Earth. Each year they managed to sow it to its core, but when only a last few blows would bring it down, Christmas morning arrives, and the gates to the mortal world open. Seizing the opportunity to harass humans, they forget the tree, and instead head out to the world, making all sorts of scandals and fooleries. They are set to enchant livestock, steal pastries, and enjoy large amounts of alcoholic beverages.
The only way one can protect oneself from the Kalikadzari is to keep a fire burning all night as to prevent them from coming down one's chimney. The next morning, once the twelve days have passed, they go back down to the underworld and find, in their dismay, that the tree of life has healed. They must start all over again sewing the trunk day after day until next Christmas arrives. Stories like the Kalikadzari make up a big part of my childhood and I think it would be a real shame for such vivid folklore to fade away with the years. Greece is a country that still believes a lot in their superstitions. From the bad eye down to the spell to heal it, it is an everyday occurrence that some things have to be avoided or done to prevent bad luck. For example, not bringing food to your neighbor at night is a very common practice, especially in the villages, as it is meant to be a bad omen. Most of the stories and superstitions, although now have a Christian connotation, go back all the way to ancient Greece. And I believe that the Kalikadzari are a perfect story to excuse such superstitions. Don't do this that way. Or the Kalikadze are going to bring havoc upon us. Πώς φάνε τα καλύτερα. Αυτά είναι πιο 
Εμένα μ' αρέσουν πιο πολύ από τα μαλακά. But above everything else, what really makes Christmas special for me and what created my dearest childhood memories is going out to sing the Christmas carols with my brother. In Greece, the Christmas carols are called Galada and they're a children's activity. We used to wake up around 7 a.m. on Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve and on the Epiphany, armed with our triangle instrument and off knocking on people's doors we would go. Traditionally, after you've sung the carols, they are meant to give you a coin as an exchange for bringing prosperity to their hands. There is nothing more nostalgic to me than knocking on random people's doors and wondering what's on the other side. There is always this anticipation. Are they going to answer? Is anyone home? Are we the first to sing for them today? And then the door opens. People still in their pajamas, holding their morning coffee, smiles on both sides. And for a split second, you get to share with them the Christmas spirit. Christmas Eve.